Hi, it's David Hunter with the Dixon Company, and today we're on site at a residential fire hydrant where we're going to illustrate to you how our pressure chart recorders and data loggers aid municipalities in monitoring the pressure throughout the entire city, and also that allows them to work congruently with fire departments so that they can ensure that the fire hydrant is charged with the right amount of pressure. In case of an emergency, they know they'll get adequate amount of water to extinguish that fire. Dixon's pressure monitoring instrumentation consists of three main products. First we have our chart recorder which records the pressure fluctuations directly onto a paper chart which is nice so you can uh, reference that chart at a later date. Furthermore it has that quarter inch MPT fitting um, and that's about it for that. Get this back in the pocket. Next we have our basic data loggers, which these were download with a serial port and you would reference that data from our software. Furthermore, the same quarter inch fitting is on the back of this one. And then we move into our display data loggers, which the only difference from this and the last one is you have USB download, flash memory if need be, and also that digital display that's going to constantly read you uh, the pressure fluctuations and give you the data you need at the unit itself. For hydrant applications, many uh, accessories are required so you get that proper pressure monitoring. And Dixon offers, uh, first and foremost, a hydrant kit, which can be attached to the outside of the port. And this allows for you to screw in that quarter inch fitting right onto the uh, hydrant port itself. We also have a locking case for if you have vandalism concerns, you can place this locking case over the data logger and cover it. And then the pressure accessory kit we offer has in it a snubber filter and this is good for water sediment if you want to keep that out of the uh, logger itself and uh, prolong the life of the data loggers. The hydrant kit will attach to the port like this Simply screw it on. You can torque that down with a wrench if need be. Then you're going to want to put your snubber kit on the end of that. The filter we talked about earlier. And this hydrant kit is going to attach with any of our pressure monitoring instruments, but we're going to display that with our uh, PR325 data logger. And you simply screw that on with that quarter inch fitting. Once again, you could use a wrench if need be. Torque that down a little tighter. And there you have it. That's your setup for your hydrant pressure. Set that uh, display upright so you can see it and let it run. So at this point in time, city water departments will attach three or four of these throughout a subdivision to make sure that the entire line is maintained at an adequate, adequate rate. Uh, you can monitor these at multiple locations and that will indicate if there is an issue that arises and you can uh, stop that before it comes something larger. So earlier we talked about the locking case to prevent vandalism and now we're going to display how to attach one of those to your data logger. You simply place the locking case around the device this way, snap it into place then you can place your own lock on the outside of the unit like this and then you always have that uh, visual display that's viewable from the face of the locking case. Thanks for watching our pressure application video today which highlighted residential fire hydrants. If you want more details on our pressure data loggers and chart recorders, you can reach us at 1-800-757-3747 or on the web at www.dixondata.com. Only you can prevent forest fires.